This is yet another video tutorial on system analysis with Serial Wire Viewer. We are going to show how a developer can measure execution time for specific code blocks by sending timestamped trace packets over the ITM channels. The project has a hardware initialization routine called HW in it. We are interested in how long time it takes to execute this function. First, we will need to write a C macro that allows us to write a byte on one of the 32 available ITM channels. We will then use this macro to put one timestamped byte on ITM port 31 before our function under measurement is called. We will then call the function and then again put a second timestamped byte on ITM port 31. In order to make this work, we must have Serial Wire Viewer enabled in our debug configuration. I will enable SWV by clicking on the debug configuration in the toolbar, moving to the debugger tab and enable SWV. More information about Serial Wire Viewer related settings in the debug configuration is gone through in the video called How to do Serial Wire Viewer Exception and Interrupt Tracing with Atomic True Studio. Let us save these settings and start a debug session. In the debug perspective, we need a SWV trace log. In this view, we need to specify which SWV related events should be sent back to the debugger. We must enable ITM port 31, as that is the port we are using to send data. We must also enable timestamps so that the data sent is timestamped. We then click OK to confirm these settings and we enable recording of trace data into a PC buffer by clicking the red record button. When we resume the application, we will receive a timestamped data packet containing the value 1 on ITM port 31. We will then execute the HW init function and we should then receive another timestamped data packet containing the value 2 on the ITM port 31. Let's resume the execution. By subtracting the cycle or time difference between these data packets, we will have the execution time of the hwinit function.